Back here in Rapid City, the VFW on Main Street held a ceremony today saying thank you to veterans and fallen soldiers through art, unveiling a new mural paying tribute to U.S. involvement in wars throughout the years. Our Brian Savage has more on the story. The few, the proud, the veterans. Post-1273 in the Honor Banner Project held a ceremony to officially unveil a mural paying tribute to the brave men and women who served in U.S. involved wars. This kind of day is personal because we're honoring uh, those veterans that didn't come back. You know, we can honor the, all veterans on Armed Forces Day or on Veterans Day, but this day is special for just those that, that didn't make it back. The mural was created by local artist Aaron Piercy, which took him two years to complete. It can bring some healing to, to those that were involved in any of the wars, um, past and present and future, obviously. Um, so I, this is just my, my personal contribution to be able to say thank you to everyone that's currently serving and that has served in the past and uh, hopefully everyone can enjoy it. The mural features different sections for various major wars the U.S. have been involved in from World War I, World War II and the Vietnam War. At one point uh, several years ago we thought that it would be nice, uh, we have Art Alley, so it would be nice to have a veterans alley. And we spent a number of years trying to find a building that would allow us permission to put up a mural. And finally, the VFW uh, to give us permission. As an official unveiling of the mural, speeches were given by veterans who are a part of the Honor Banner Project in post-1273. Um, I gave luncheons for World War II veterans for years until COVID struck. And like I say, I had my uncle and, and two other uncles and two cousins that fought in World War II. So I think, and I'm a World War II history nut, so I think this probably this part of the mural probably makes the most sense to me and it gives me the most pride. Pier C plans on adding another section to the mural, which will honor veterans of the Gulf War. Reporting for Black Hills Fox, I'm Brian Savage.